So we're working on the case 310 and uh, we got a grease fitting here that is not taking any grease and uh, we've put a new fitting on and it still won't take the grease. So that means the problem is in the joint itself. So we need to get that joint unlocked. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take that, that fitting out and we're gonna spray some PB Blaster in the hole, let it soak a while. And then we're gonna use uh, we're going to use this. Um, they call it a grease fitting rejuvenator. Some people call it a grease hammer. And I'll show you how it works. All right, so we cleaned this out. It turns out there wasn't another bit in there that was just a bunch of crap in there. So we are going to spray this in here. Clear it out real good. Let it soak. And then uh, <clears throat> there we go. So let's... Looks like it's sinking in, so we'll just keep filling that up and let it let it soak there for a little bit, and then we'll put the uh, rejuvenator on it. All right, so we got a new fitting. Put that on there, and then we're gonna uh, tighten that down. There's that. Then we'll uh, we'll get the rejuvenator working. So this is. The, the plunger comes out of the rejuvenator and then you put transmission fluid in there. So uh, we'll go ahead and do that. We'll just set that right there and add some transmission fluid. Little guy here is uh, scraping off the dozer blade. That's the noise. I'm gonna keep them working. All right, let's get a little bit in there. Pumping it everywhere, but that's all right. This is a very high-end transmission fluid to be using for this, but it'll be fine. It's probably a bit too much, actually. So uh, put that plunger in there, squirt some out. So we're ready to go. So we're gonna put that on there like that. And then Looks like that, and then we're gonna hit that end with a hammer until it starts plunging fluid into that joint. I'm gonna get one of the boys to hold this thing for me and we'll show you how it works. All right, so, so we take this, we hold it firmly, and we're just gonna tap on that. And we're driving transmission fluid through that joint. I can see it actually squirting out I can see it squirting out on the sides. The joint is starting to drip here, so that's good. That means we're loosening the joint up. See it? It's taking it. We'll just keep driving the fluid through it, and then we'll put the grease gun on it, and we'll be done. That's that. That's that. And then let's see if it takes some grease. It surely will now. Let's get the grease gun on here. Let's see how we do. Oh, yeah. Totally different. Am I seeing it? Yep. And we're done.